Hey everybody, thanks for joining me to color today. So today we're gonna to be working on this adorable whiff of joy image called These Belong to Me. Isn't he cute, isn't she cute? I love the little puppy there. So that's what we'll be working on today. And there's still a bunch of these kits left if you wanna head over to the store and grab one. They'll put a link down in the description box. Next week, we are going to be working on this cutie called Layla Loves Leaves. She's a Stampin' Bella image, and she is 25% um, off if you use coupon code Layla when you check out. And then it's not free shipping, but it's kind of like getting free shipping if you use a coupon code on this one. So that'll help out. But this is going to be next week's class if you want to um, head over and grab it and come color with me. I'll put that over here for later. So we're working on this little cutie. Um, we're going to be doing, um, I don't know if you guys have finished sending out all your Christmas cards and stuff yet, but I still have a couple of those. I think I got like six left. So I got three of the Lucas and then three of the Lucy with a scarf. So if you want to grab that, you can grab one of those if you haven't finished up your Christmas cards yet. All right, so I have stamped my girl on Nina 80 pound Solarite cardstock. So let's go ahead and let me find the directions. I guess that might help. And let's go ahead and do it connect over here. Oh, there. <laughs> we'll get two things going at once here. Let's see, I need to shrink this down a little bit. Let's make this. Oh, that's only smaller it goes. Okay. All right. Just need to move both so I can see um, all the chat that's going on there. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining me. All right, got that all fixed. Make sure it's up and going. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom down. Let's see, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. And grab my towel here. You're welcome, Linda. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started by doing, um, we're gonna outline our girl today. So for that, we're gonna use C0, nothing fancy. We're just gonna go all the way around. So I'm gonna start here on the edge and just do a quick outline around the outside. Have you girls got all your Christmas stuff, Christmas cards all done up? I still have to do one more. I have to make one more. So I'm thinking that I colored up that Bah Humba reindeer kitty one and it's all colored. So I just need to cut out some more paper and then I can um, use that one as a Christmas card as soon as I get it done. I forgot somebody so I have to get another one made. Otherwise, all mine are sitting on the counter and ready to go. <laughs> Hi, Dee. Thanks for joining me. I did miss you. Where have you been? Yep, I need to take mine down to the post office and grab, um, get some envelopes or some stamps. So for skin, we're going to use E11, 21, double zero, R20, and R30 for the cheeks. Since they're bigger, I have to take them into the post office so that they can, um, you know, put the stamps on there because otherwise they do not, they have to be hand stamped because they're kind of bulky. <laughs> I 
Linda, you're doing somebody else's Christmas cards? That's pretty good. I didn't do that. <laughs> I think I had like 24 in total that I did up. And then, well, 23, and then I need an extra one that I've, because I forgot. So. <laughs> Everybody wants to be Linda's sister. She's making her sister's Christmas cards. That's nice of you, Linda. Did you girls have a great Thanksgiving? Mr. Hobby Haven made us food to eat. No cooking for me. I made the sweet potato casserole. It's more like dessert, actually. And Lexi, of course, who doesn't want to try anything, had none, so that meant there was more for me and Mr. Hobby Haven. And then my brother stopped by, so he stopped by and had some Thanksgiving, too. Linda, when you did your cards, did you do the production line where you did so many of each one and finished them up, or how did you do that? Since you made 30. Now we're going to do our cheeks with our 20 and 30. And we'll just add a little bit more cheek or more skin tone here. I'm going to pinken up her cheeks a little bit. That sounds like what I would do, Linda. Um, get a make one sample card, then get them into production, and mess one up. Yeah, that sounds definitely like what I would do. <laughs> and then, of course, you've put everything away. So, <laughs> that's how it works out. Okay, for the hair, we're gonna use E twenty seven forty four and fifty five. <laughs> It's like, oh, I'm all finished, and I have to stamp the cinnamon. And, oh, I messed it up. <laughs> all right, so we're going to start with E27. And let's go ahead and add some stripes up here to her pigtail. And then for her hair, she's got this little, um, I'm going to say her part is going to be right here. 
So she's kind of got it going down here and then over here this way. And then she's got this little rat's nest right here. So let's go ahead and say this is her part. And I want to do, hi, really crazy for paper. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> and we're going to go right here. This piece is kind of tucked up underneath of her face. So I'm going to color this side in a little bit more. And then right here, it's coming out from behind her bangs. So let's add a little dark right here next to her face. And then this piece kind of folds back behind this other piece. So I'm going to exaggerate that a little bit. And then I'm going to add some little stripy lines in here. So let's go I kind of totally ignored this little swoop that's right here because it's kind of just in a wrong, the wrong space for me. So we're going to add some lines. We'll see how that looks. Then I'm going to add E44. So we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to do a bunch of little, little lines in here. And I try to be quick when I'm doing my stripes or my streaks. Oops. Oh, I colored my whole finger. Good job, Heather. Okay, we're going to go with E55 next. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of her hair. And then I'm going to come back and add some more of that dark in next or again. So E27. And I'm going to fill this all in first. Have you girls all gotten your Christmas shopping done? And did you hit a bunch of the sales this weekend? Okay, then we're gonna go back with, we haven't, I haven't even started mine yet, but we only have to buy for the grandkids. So we only have to get Natalie and Lexi a gift and then Catherine and Mayana, so, and Emma. So that won't be too bad. And we've decided that they have too much stuff, so they're not gonna get very many gifts. I'm a mean grand grandparent. Cute. I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave it like that. <laughs> yeah, really crazy. We couldn't. I wanted the Y one, but it wasn't available, so we went with the IE in the end. And actually, now I have both, but I've already been doing it with IE for so long. I decided to just leave it like that. All right. So let's go on to her shirt. So. No shopping, no sales. Good job, Dee. <laughs> okay, so for a shirt, you're going to use YR18, 9, 16, and 4.
Oh, that chameleon die is really, our stamp is really cute. Good job. <laughs> I think I have that one. Mm, no, maybe it's not the, I don't think it's a Lawn Fawn one. I think I have, um, I think it's your next stamp company maybe, but it's a chameleon. He's really cute. And this one is one of those, YR18 is one that I don't use that much. So if yours is like mine, mine seems very damp. So if you don't use your YR18 very much, make sure that when you're using it, that you maybe remove the other end of your cap so that it doesn't make one of those big blobs on it. That will help prevent that. I'm not, I don't usually use orange, I guess. But I was going with the paper that I picked out. So orange is what we got. Add a little bit in there. Okay, one shirt down. Okay, cupcake wrappers. So. All right, so for our cupcake wrappers, we're going to use E44, 43, and 42. I'm going to start with 44. And for my little wrappers, I'm just going to go underneath of the cupcake and this one since it's behind that one I'm going to put it right next to the edge there and then we'll go underneath the cupcake over here whoops I painted some of the cupcake and then I'm going to go down these lines so you can pick a side you want to go down like this one's kind of skinny, so I'm going to color it in and then do the opposite side over here. How about this one we'll color in too right here. And then we're going to go over that with the 43. And then I'm going to fill it in with 42. If you want it to be darker, you could go over it a second time. I think I'm going to leave mine like that. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to do um, the cupcakes. So we're going to use Y26 and 23. So for 26, I'm just going to go along the bottom down here where it looks like it kind of folds over. There's a little line right there. Same for this side. Here's the little line right here. And then I'm going to say this is the little line right there. And then I'm going to fill in up to the frosting. We're having yellow cupcakes today. I'm 
And then I think I'll go back with my Y26 and maybe darken it up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do just a little bit underneath of my frosting. And then just leave it that way. Next, we're going to do the frosting. So we're going to do E49, 47, and 44. If you wanted lighter frosting, you could do 44, like we did the cupcake wrapper, you could do 44, 43, and 42. So I'm going to start with the 49, and I'm going to do just a little bit. Let's see. Let's do underneath this line. And then right here where it kind of curls in. And the 49 is really dark. So we're having dark chocolate frosting on ours. Which will work out great at our house because Lexi doesn't like that. So that means I would get more. <laughs> Stephanie, you're at work. Are you going to color after work? I'm making some um, Christmas tags, some shaker tags that I think I'm going to put on the girls's, one of the girls' packages so they can hang it as an ornament on the tree. And I'll show those to... I did a video about it this morning. I just have to edit it, so I'll get that loaded onto YouTube and get it posted over on the blog. I need to post the Layla card over there too. I forgot to do that yesterday. And then I was going to give them green um, frosting, but I ended up changing it to brown. But for the bag for the frosting, we're going to use G21. Just because. I figured brown would be a little too close up here next to our hair. So I didn't want it to be so dark. So we're going to have a green frosting bag. I guess I got to color it in on the way. So if you want to have some shadows, you can go in, you color the whole thing, and then you go back and add a second coat where you want it to be darker. Like that. And then, oh, let's go ahead, since we have this out, let's go ahead and do the plate, too. So for that, we're going to use G21 and then YG61. Hi, Joanne. Glad you could join us. Hi, Susie. Oh, I already said hi to Susie. That Mr. Hobby Haven is throwing me off. Okay, so we're going to go with G21 again. So for the plate, I'm just going to, right here, there's like this space. So I'm going to color that in. And then I'm going to go around each cupcake and then I'm going to fill the plate in with my YG61 Hi, Renee. Thanks for joining me. I missed all you girls at coloring. Okay, so I'm going to go back again with my E or my G21.
And then I think I soften this edge right here with my GYG61. So let's soften this up just a little bit. Okay, so far so good. Um, let's see, what do we do the little tip here? See? Four and two. Okay, so for the little tip on the frosting bag, we're gonna use C4 and two. Hi, 1982. Thanks for coming by. Okay, so we're gonna go with this. So for the, the darkest one, I'm gonna do just at the bottom here. You could save a step and just do the C2 and let it dry like I did the bag and then put two coats at the bottom. That would save you a little bit. And right up here, this little hair tie right up here, I forgot to do this, so I'm gonna grab YR16 and color that in. I think I'll do the 18-2 kind of down here in the bottom. That gets our hair all finished up. All right, so the dog, let's see. What are we going to do with him? Let's grab those. Let's see, six, four, two. Zero. Okay, so we're going to use W6420 R49 and 44 for our dog. So let's start with W6. And we're gonna put this right where we want it to be the darkest. So let's go maybe right here on his ear. And then we'll do the same thing over here on this side. And then I'm gonna go along the back of his head. And I'm trying to be sparing with it. I don't want it to be too much because it's pretty dark. And then I'm gonna do a little dab right here above his nose. Let's see what's on here. Let's do, I guess I got this out, I'm gonna do his nose right here too. And I'm gonna leave a little white spot there at the top. Then we'll do um, W2. And I'm probably going to give my puppy um, two coats, so I'm not worried if it's not blending all the way out. Oops. 
Whoops. Not that one. This one. And right, then we're going to go back with our second coat. And next we'll do W4. Okay, and then I forgot to do, oh, let's put a brown on there. So E49, I'm going to use that to add just a little bit more shadow right at the edge of his face. I was thinking about putting brown spots on there, but I never got there. And then I'll use my E44 just to soften that edge a little bit. And then I'm going to go over that with W2. Just a tiny dab, just to soften that edge of the E44. And then for inside the ears, we're going to use, let me see, what did I use for that? Let's go with 20 and 30. And then his mouth, I'm going to do a little dab at the back of his tongue. And then along the inside of his mouth.
cute, cute, cute. Okay, so we're going to go with our little tablecloth down here. So for that, we're going to use B97, 95, and 93. Linda, did you write that down? If you did, could you say yes, you did? <laughs> All right, so for, well, I was talking, I forgot if I showed you the, so for the tablecloth, we're gonna use B97, 95, and 93. All right, so we're gonna go with these and we're gonna use this where we want to have the darkest. So we're going to go around the back of our tablecloth. And then I'm going to come around this side over here too. We're going to go underneath the puppy's paws here. And then we're going to add B95. And then we're going to go with B93. I think I'm going to add as um, B95. All right, and then we'll start on the bottom. So down here on the bottom, I'm going to take my directions and pop my paper on here because I don't want to color on my map, just because. And then, so I'm gonna start with B97. And then we're gonna go with, I'm gonna to try to add it just to the dark areas because it's kind of, it's really dark. So let's go down the side of our tablecloth and then I'm gonna go along the edge, but I'm also gonna do these little wrinkles. And then right here, it's folded in, so I'm gonna go down that. And then I'm gonna say this little fold pops out. So I'm gonna go down this fold. And then we're going to move my finger a little bit. We're gonna go, all, let's go all the way across the top so I don't forget that. And this one here is definitely in, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a lot of dark in there. But we wanna go all the way across the top. And then here's a wrinkle right here. So let's go down this side 
And then this one, I'm going to go down this side. And we'll do B95. Thanks, Mr. Hobbyhaven, for fixing that. <laughs> you never know. Okay, so we're going to go down each of those lines that we made. And then we'll add B93. And it looks pretty terrible right now, but we're going to give it a second coat. So I'm not going to worry if I fill it all the way in. I'm just going to brush some on. Then I'm going to go back with my B95. And this time I'm going to brush a little bit further than I did the first time with my B95. So I want to go right over the top of that and then past. I'll go with B93. Let's go back this way and fill it the rest of the way in. And then I'm going to go back another time with the B95. This time I'm going to kind of smooth it down the line so that it doesn't leave so many streaks. And then B93. So we're going to go down. I'm going to start at the top. And I'm going to smooth over the, all that color and bring it all the way back. But I'm kind of overlapping the line so that where it's wet, I'm going back over it so that there'll be a little less streaking in there. And this didn't go at the bottom right there. So we could go right over the top of it where it's wet on the edge, clear to the bottom. And then right here, kind of missed the edge, so I'm just going to go along the edge right here. Let's go. Some of these still have some lines. So let's go this way. Let's go. B93. 
You could also do tip to tip where you pull some of the B95 onto your B93 and then do it that way. Whoops, but I think I'm gonna go with it like that. I'm liking that. Hi Elizabeth, thanks for joining us. The 93, the B93 can be kind of persnickety, so you gotta kind of watch that because B93 and B95, they're, they're close together, but it seems like it's a lot more purple. The 93 is a lot more purple than it is for the, um, the 95. Okay, we're gonna go up here. And we are going to get all of our stuff for our card out. So I have lots of stuff. So um, let's put some of this stuff together. So this, all this stuff comes in your card kit this time. So you're gonna get a bunch of different things. And then you get, I don't think I included a whole package of these, but I included the colors that you were going to be using on your card. So let's put some glue on these. So on my card, I have white, whoops, white then yellow. And on this one, I have white and then a blue one. And then for the bigger flower, I use this bigger brown part. And then this one, I use a smaller brown one. And you can put them however you want. I just offset mine. So I'm going to give this a little bit of glue. And then I kind of looked at it and went, hmm. <laughs> so it wasn't quite so perfect. It's just kind of sitting on there. Oops, this little flower has right here. Let's pick that off. Had a piece of the um, wax paper I used to make it release from the dye. Sometimes I do that. If the dyes are persnickety, I'll put the paper down and then I'll put a piece of wax paper um, between the, the dye and the paper and then cut it out and the, dye, the wax paper will help it let go. So if any of your little parts have little white spots on them, like this one, here's another one, right? Right here, it's kind of a different color brown. It's still got the wax paper on there. I tried to pick them all off, but I could have missed some. <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth. All right, so now let's go ahead and put some of these things together. We'll put these flowers over here to dry. So let's do, I'm going to use this glue again, so let's not lose that. But I'm going to use some tape runner to attach these things. So we've got brown. And then this one goes on top of the, the white one with the scallops. And then we're going to go with, thanks Dee. <laughs> don't forget to girls, if you're watching, don't forget to hit the like button. So that it shows up later. All right, so let's do, I'm gonna put some sparkles in her hair. So let's use this clear spick of glitter pen. I forgot to do that. And I'm just not gonna do anything fancy. I'm just going to scribble some sparkles in her hair. I like sparkles. And then I thought it would be fun to do, on the little cupcakes here, I gave them sprinkles. So I'm gonna use my white Sharpie paint pen. And this one is water-based and it's the extra fine one. We'll give him some sparkles on there. You can also do some on her cheeks, but since her cheeks are so small today, I don't think I'm gonna, I think I'm not gonna put those on there this time. Okay, so I'll put this over here for a second to dry. 
And let's do some of these things. And this little sentiment here is from the Cool Tag Banner set by Your Next Step Company. It does not come in the kit. You only get this one little sentiment to put on your card. But you can pick the sentiment set up in the store if you want to grab that. Okay, so we got this piece first. And I always check first whether or not my card is opening the right direction because I would be the one to put it on upside down. If you don't like the acorns, you could always do the blue side. Man, I put this piece on square today. And then next is the orange one, or you could use the plaid on the back. I'm glad you could join us today, Joanne. We do live class every Thursday at noon Pacific time. And then if you can't make class, you can always watch it again later after it posts. Okay, next we're going to have this one with the leaves also on the back of this. Oh, or you could have the wood. And there are a few of these kits left, girls, so don't forget to run over to the store and pick one up. There's a link down in the description box. I'm thinking I want to go, let's see. I kept everything straight this time. Usually I have stuff candy wampus, but not today. Oh, and this piece has some pretty flowers on the back, so if you wanted the pretty flowers, you could do that instead of the blue flowers. Okay, and then we got the girl, so let's do her. I didn't pop her up. Only thing I popped up this time I think was the sentiment. So we're gonna have her right here. And then you got some leaves. We're gonna put those. Whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna use switch to some liquid glue for this part. And let's grab this one first. like that and then for the sentiment let's do some pop dots back here and I think because it's going to be resting on the flower over here I'm just going to put a little dab of glue That way it won't add any bulk. And you can still put the thing on here. Did I put them on the wrong way? No. I'm like, okay. You can also, if you don't like this sentiment, you could always trace it, trace the tag onto something and cut out a new one. And look, see, when you put this on here, you can sort of cover up some of the things you don't like on this tablecloth. Like right here, I didn't really like these lines. So look, I'm just going to stick my tag right here. And then over here where the glue is, we'll just give it a little smush. Hi, 
Hi, Kareen. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go with our little dots here. So you should have got some little dots with your kit. And I'm just going to, let's see, let's do orange. You can do whatever. And since I used orange and blue in your kit, you're only going to get the orange and the blue dots. So you're going to have to pick whatever size you want. Well, I definitely don't want it right there. And then a blue one. Now, let's see. I could do a small blue one or I could do a bigger blue one this time. Let's do a bigger one. Mm, no, let's not. I might want to save those for a different project, so I better save all the ones that are on there. Because I like this paper. I'm definitely going to use it again. It's a Simple Stories. Um, I think it's Hello Fall. It's really cute. All right. So there is our card. Let me put these pop dots back in here so I don't lose them. Or these enamel dots. But that is um, our card for today. So today's card again is called, I don't know, I forget. These belong to me. How could I forget that? <laughs> These belong to me. And there is a link down in the description box if you want to pick the card kit up because there's um, a few left of these. Um, the stamp comes unmounted, but I put a piece of easy mount in there so that you can um, mount it on some easy mount and it's ready to stamp. But that was pretty quick and easy. And remember, if you don't like the paper choices, there's always the back. So make sure to check the back too to see if it's something you would like rather than the colors that I put on the front. Or maybe you can cut them up. I mean, this big piece here, you could make a different size or this one, you can make a different size. It's just quick and easy. You can take it to a friend's house and have some fun coloring. So don't forget, link in the description box. And next week, we are going to color Layla Loves Leaves. Isn't she cute? And here, the sentiment here is also from the Cool Tags um, banner stamp set. So I used it twice. Only in this card kit, I didn't stamp that because I embossed it and I didn't want to emboss a million of these little sentiments. So you're going to get this blank and you can put whatever you want on there. But if you'd like to pick her up, she can. you can get use a coupon for 25% off. It's Just use Layla in the coupon box and you can get your 25% off this card kit. This is next week's class. Um, don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and you can leave me a comment after the, after the video post. Say hi. You know, I like the video. It sucked. Whatever. <laughs> so I hope to see you girls again next week. If I don't see you tonight at Bible Journaling at 730, I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>